excuse the candy wrappers. You know? Oh, you're good. You're good. It's Halloween, so we're good. I mean, you need candy all day. I don't blame you. Y'all don't do a. Y'all don't dress up and put on. Put on. Are y'all too old for that at the high school to put on <laughs> like costumes and stuff on Halloween? Oh, uh, you can never be too old. But did, did people do it today? Uh, there was actually a couple. A couple people that uh, were dressed up today. Where do you dress as today? Oh, I just went as a normal student. <laughs> I guess you could say student athlete. Student athlete, there you go. I like, I was, you guys don't do contact at all? Do have brightness? Very limited contact. So there was this theory from uh, Dartmouth. Uh -huh. And um, the coach really wanted to emphasize that during practice. So we don't have, you know, any like major hitting drills. Um, he kind of took that uh, all out. So now it's kind of based off like fitting, you know, is your head on the right side? You know, making sure that you're able to just still be able to make plays, but be able to make like smart, safe plays kind of. It's definitely helped us out in the long run as being staying like healthy. Yeah. You know, even though we may not go like full contact, everything is always still full speed. Yeah. So, you know, our guys are coming down playing eight, nine games. You know, we still have a little main roster, you know, nobody having any, any major injuries. Um, and that's something that we were at notice because you know like last year we lost a lot of our starters due to like injuries you know that we had during practice what, what made you want to select naval camp so you know i was sitting down in class and you know i was just thinking to myself you know kind of what did i want to do after this because you know football can only take you so far yeah. you know i want to use football as much as i can you know push me alive you know i love the game and you know navy gave me the opportunity to take that to the next level. I kind of always want to see my life as like an adventure, you know, with the Naval Academy, you know, you never have a dull moment. Yeah. You know, you're always on your toes. It's every, every day is like an adventure. And that's something that I love to do. Like I want that experience. Um, I did grow up in a military background. My father uh, served in the military. Okay. Um, but I was very young, you know, he was stationed multiple times. He was stationed in Fort Bragg. Okay. And so I, my mom definitely stressed the military lifestyle. Oh, you can make it left here. Like the hard work and dedication, the drive that my dad had, you know, has definitely influenced my life. They go, uh, you had to cut that box off at Navy, ain't you? Yeah, I'm gonna have to. <laughs> oh, a small price to pay. What I love about Navy is that they know that they're a part of something bigger than themselves. They're doing for a bigger cause. So every time you see, it's a brotherhood. So anytime, you know, they're not playing for like themselves, but they're playing for the person next to them. And that's something that I try to like inspire like on my team. Man, what, 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 how do you guys, I mean, obviously the end goal is the, is the state championship. Yes, sir. You guys have done so well this year, but how do you want to, how do you want to finish this season? Well, I, other than winning it all, what's your individual way goal to like finish this season strong? For me, I want to, I want the team to be able to look back on the season and be able to say that they gave it their all and that they're proud of what they put in to this program and be able to say that they're they're happy with the results. Well, this was fun. Yeah, Justin, enjoyed it. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. Good luck to you. Yes, sir. You have a good day. You too, man.